What's up, baseball players? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, let's cover how to grip a baseball for beginners. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan. I'm a former pro baseball player. I was a pitcher. And if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. I have tons of stuff for both beginners and advanced players, the physical stuff, drills, mechanics, mindset, all that. So if you're new here, definitely stay around. All right, so we're gonna cover the basics in gripping a baseball. So here's the first thing to understand. Obviously a baseball has seams, right? So the seams are where we want our fingertips to go. So the, the pad of our finger, we wanna make sure this is right in the center of a seam. So as it releases off our fingertip, that is gonna give us the best grip that we possibly can. So that's the first thing to understand. So when you do grip the ball, you don't wanna have your fingertips just in the center where the leather is pretty slick. So you wanna have them over top of the seams themselves. So now there's a couple basic grips that you wanna get and we'll cover when you get them and how you get them in a second. But the main grip you wanna get playing the field. So whether you're an infielder or outfielder or even a catcher, you wanna get what's called a four seam grip. So if you look at the ball here, you'll see that this horseshoe goes sideways. I'm gonna cross my two fingers over this horseshoe. And then as the ball flies, it spins one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So from the side, one, two, three, four. That's what we call a four seam grip. And basically a four seam grip is gonna be, it's gonna have truer flight. It's gonna resist gravity a little bit better than a two seam grip or any other like random grip. So it's gonna have a little better carry. It'll stay straighter to your target. So especially if you have a long throw, it's really important to try to get a four seam grip if you can. Now a two seam grip, is something that pitchers throw and basically you're going to hold the, the ball like this and you'll put your fingers between the two seams or across the two seams and as it flies it'll go one two one two that's why we call it a two seam grip so this is not something you want to grab voluntarily as an infielder as an outfielder as a catcher you're, you're never going to choose to throw a two seamer that's only something that pitchers do because it'll give them a little bit of arm side movement the ball will run a little bit or sink a little bit so a four seam grip is always what you wanna to try to get when you have the time as a, as a position player. Now, here's the things to understand. You will see like in the major league, sometimes guys grab the ball and they're on the run and they pick it up and they throw it. And they're just sort of plucking it off the ground and whatever way they get it is the way they're gonna throw it. And that's, that's normal. And sometimes the play happens so fast that you don't have time to get a four seam grip. But other times when you get a ground ball and you have time to set your feet and take a couple shuffles before throwing, you're gonna wanna figure out, okay, how did I grab it? And then you sort of like mix it up till you find that four seam grip. So the big thing to practice at home, you know, whether you're catching them in the outfield, is when that ball hits your glove, how fast can you get a four seam grip? And you just have to start to, again, play around with it, mix it up in your hand, just grab the ball. If you're sitting on your couch, toss it to yourself and find a four seam grip. And the faster you can do that in a game, the more, okay, I pulled it out, now I've got a, a four seam grip and I'm more likely to make an accurate throw that way. So that's a really important thing to do. A couple, a couple other things to note. If your hands are really small, it's okay to use three fingers. So for youth players who are just starting out, this is probably the grip that they'll use. And again, you just wanna have your fingers somewhat close together. If they're really forked wide, you're gonna put wonky pressure on the ball and you're gonna start to make it spin in different ways that you don't want. Again, we only want backspin. So you want clean backspin and to get that, you wanna put your fingers close together, whether you're using three fingers or two. Two is best with the thumb on the bottom. That's another important part. So thumb on the bottom, these ones will just fold to the side and two on top. That's the standard grip. But if you're, you have a smaller hand and you wanna put three, that's totally fine. Just make sure they're not forked too wide apart, okay? So those are the basics of how to grip a baseball. It's not super complex. You just have to understand that when the play happens really fast, you'll probably just grab it and throw it as is. When you have a little more time, you catch a fly ball, someone throws it to you, you get a ground ball and you have time to take a couple of shuffles before making your throw. That's when you wanna to try to find that four seam grip so you get that cleaner, more accurate throw across the diamond, all right? So thanks again for watching. If you're new to baseball, definitely subscribe and stick around to the channel. Check out my online courses and books, which you'll find those in the description below. Leave a comment if you have one, and I'll see you in the next video.